What's up guys, welcome back to Alt Degree. My name is Hobson and if you're joining me today, I hope you're ready to watch something cool. I'm going to take a break from my normal life lessons and moral preachings to bring y'all some good old fashioned nature at its finest. This vlog is gonna be a little bit different than the ones I've previously done, solely because I really wanted to focus on the logistics and the up close and personal side of my journey so y'all can actually see what type of energy it takes to do a journey like this. Y'all can see in real time how I'm choosing where I'm going, the people I meet, the places I stay, and that way you guys can decide if it's something that you would wanna do or you just wanna keep watching me do. So on tap for today is Mount Aijin. It is a volcano in East Java to the west of Bali. And the reason I chose Mount Aijin is because it has blue fire. It is one of two places in the world where this naturally occurs. Basically what happens is a bunch of science mumbo jumbo down in the earth, all the gases and the sulfur chemicals basically, okay, that was kind of dumb. So the blue fire basically, mm. so the blue fire happens when basically a bunch of, a little, I can't even speak. <laughs> Okay, so the blue fire is a naturally occurring phenomenon that happens in one of two places in the world, Mount Aijin being one of them. It was really cool, really pretty to see, but the only time you can see it is at like 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. So you literally have to get to the base of the volcano at like 2 a.m. And meanwhile, you have this sulfur gas coming at you. I had to wear a gas mask. You got flashlights. Um, you're literally climbing down a rocky slope, so it was pretty intense, but a really cool hike. I would highly recommend. Let's check it out. Good morning. It is 5 a.m. I am getting ready for a four hour drive to the most northwestern tip of Bali to where I'll catch the ferry over to Java. But before I do that, I've got four hours on a scooter. Okay, so I wanna be clear here. I didn't mean to shoot myself in the foot and give myself an extra amount of driving time, but I just happened to be in Uluwatu when I found this hike. Uluwatu is the most southern part of Bali, so yeah, I literally had to drive the entire island just to get to the ferry. Got everything packed in this book bag. <coughs> Gonna be a blast. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, I'm on the boat. I've been driving for like four and a half hours. Nobody's been speaking English for the past hour. I hop on this boat, my butt cheeks hurt. I'm ready to just chill out and enjoy the ride. 
I kind of pass out for a bit. Like 15 minutes later, I wake up and check my phone to see where we're at. Nobody told me that we were taking like a farther northern route over to Java instead of just going right across. So I look on my phone and think, holy crap, we're going to a different island. Fortunately though, we ended up over in Java, same route. I'm having to stop to put my sweatshirt on real quick. I am on the route up to the base camp for Mount Ajin. Um, it is really cool, but it is getting cold. As I'm climbing an altitude, the temperature is dropping. I mean, it's literally a rainforest. Um, roads are pretty small, but my bike's doing pretty well right now, still holding up. It's like straight uphill, but we're doing it a little bit at a time. Yo! I am hanging out by the acidic river. It's acidic because it overflows from the crater lake um, up in the crater of the volcano and so this little river flows down and it's mostly uh, sulfur and chloric acid so it smells a little funky but the water is like a pure bluish green so it looks really cool so this all flows from the crater lake somewhere way up there all the way down there mountains gorgeous So I left Bali this morning at about 5 a.m. I got to Aijin Crater, or at least base camp of it, at about 1.30, 2 p.m. I would say. So overall looking at like probably an eight or nine hour journey to get here, including the ferry ride and the ride up. It was definitely a little intimidating coming all the way from the southern tip of Bali up to Java, especially like the farther north you get the less English there is. But if you just use your common sense and ask questions when you're confused, shouldn't have an issue. All right, so I checked into my homestay. I paid them about 400,000 IDR, which is like 28 American dollars for one night. But it's about 3 p.m. I'm up on the mountain, it's beautiful. And they recommended I go to a nearby crater. It's about 20 minute scooter ride. It's called Wurrung Crater. I'll show y'all in a sec. But it's beautiful, so we're about to go check it out. My old enemy, stairs. I just walked up and met a group of people who were doing a shoot for what looked like a new car release or a Jeep or something. So that was really cool to watch for a bit. God, something about just hiking and especially in these cool ass places just makes me feel so freaking alive, you know? This is like one of the most peaceful, serene spots I think I've ever been in, especially like on just a hike. I've never really hiked volcanoes before and the fact that I'm surrounded by like eight of them right now is just mind blowing but it's literally just this long ridge going in between Aijin and all these other ones I don't know the name of. And then some cows and whatnot down there, which is pretty cool too. I'm sure they're having a great time. I tell you, if I was a cow or a horse, I would eat this grass 100%. So if you ask me, was the seven hour journey worth it? I would say yes, very much so. And I haven't even seen the blue fire tomorrow. So I can see directly across from where I'm hiking in a couple hours. You can see the crater up there. And you can kind of see the smoke coming out. You can't really see it on camera, but I got a good view. When you turn around over here, it's all these other volcanoes. All right, it's about 4.45, almost 5 p.m. It's getting pretty chilly. As soon as the sun goes down, it's gonna get real cold. So I'm gonna head back to the homestay, chill out, watch the sunset, hang with the hosts, and probably try and get some shut-eye before I get up at like 1 a.m. to hit the trailhead. So I'm excited. Hopefully get a good night's sleep and I'll, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>